Hello everyone. So today we shall be discussing some information about SQL map. We still remember that SQL map has been used for a long time for hacking or penetration testing of uh, back-end databases, basically on the web applications as well as some client-server applications. Even it can also be used for testing the APIs that are vulnerable to SQL injection. So remember that SQL injection basically targets the relational database systems such as MySQL or all SQL databases. So in this tutorial, we shall be checking on the validity or usability of SQL map still in 2023. Now we still have to know that SQL map is still one of the best penetration testing or is still one of the best hacking tools in 2023 so we will use sql map to test one of the websites that i have explored online and for this matter i would like to also make a legal disclaimer that if you don't have uh, privileges to test the website or the system please don't do that using these tools because you will be in high trouble so i I think or I suggest you test all these tools in your environment. So for this tutorial, we shall be doing it live on an, on an actual website. So for that matter, let's fire up Firefox and then go to ibc.co.ls. So this is the website that I've actually explored that is vulnerable to SQL injection in 2023. So um, then I saw that after navigation, then I saw there is a newsroom website right here. And um, then I saw that there is a news.php page which has got a variable ID that contains a value 1. So this implies that uh, there is a select all from either news d table where news id or an id is equals to one so for that matter which means we will be able to target the select query so if we target a select query it means we will have to sort of inject either um we can just tease it right here so that we can be able to see if the sql is blind the sql injection is blind then we can see that actually this sql injection is blind so for that matter we can use sql map in order to come up with the solution whether this website is vulnerable or not when we record or when we upload this video this website i think we have also told the owner to fix it so which means there is no problem into me uploading this video so that you can be able to explore how it can be actually exploited but please don't use your tools on this website you can use on your local website so for that matter let me fire up here now we can also um service tor start so that we can work through tor All right, so um, we can use proxy chains, SQL map. Now we all already have, um, let's check the users, if we can be able to see the users. Now we can see the available users which means and we can also do some banner grabbing in order to check whether this is actually vulnerable or not so we can see the available users so um, we can also check the current 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 user now we can see that the current user is ibc at localhost for us to use a SQL map further, what we can do is to see whether this current user 
is DBA. Is database administrator. If the, the, the user is a database administrator, then it helps us to see uh, whether we can also apply some further uh, uh, some further uh, ways to exploit this uh, system. Now we can see the current user is not database administrator, but we can also do something in order to see whether we can be able to view databases. So for that matter, what we can do is to view DBS. We can see the available databases, which is information schema, which contains the configurations of this system or website data tables, which can tell you more about this uh, database. But our interest might be right here. So now that we have seen that this database is viewable, what we can do is to just um, see the available tables on this database so that we can be able to so we can see that we've got the users table and all other tables so this database is actually vulnerable so for that matter we will have to make sure we patch this database so thank you guys for watching this video peace